we are asked to determine the perimeter and area of the parallelogram. Let's begin with the perimeter. To determine the perimeter, we sum the lengths of the four sides because the perimeter is the distance around the outside of the parallelogram. And remember, the opposite sides have the same length, and therefore this side has a length of 14.3 feet, and this side has a length of 26.9 feet. If we think of walking around the parallelogram, the perimeter is equal to 14.3 feet plus 26.9 feet plus 14.3 feet plus 26.9 feet. So again, the perimeter P is equal to 14.3 feet plus 26.9 feet plus 14.3 feet plus 26.9 feet. Let's determine the sum vertically lining up the corresponding place values. And now we move the decimal down into the sum, and starting with the rightmost place value, we add three plus nine plus three plus nine is 24, record the four, perform an exchange with the two, add the one's place value, two plus four plus six is 12, plus four is 16, plus six is 22. Record the two, perform an exchange with the two. Two plus one plus two is five, plus one is six, plus two is eight. The perimeter is 82.4 feet. And now let's determine the area. The area of a parallelogram is equal to the base times the height, where for the given parallelogram, the base is 26.9 feet, and the height is 12.4 feet. And therefore, the area is equal to 26.9 feet times 12.4 feet. And now let's determine the product. Notice how each factor contains one decimal place, and therefore the product must contain two decimal places. To begin, we multiply by four. Four times nine is 36. Record the six, perform an exchange with the three. Four times six is 24, plus three is 27. Record the seven, perform an exchange with the two. Four times two is eight, plus two is 10. Now before multiplying by the two, we need to add a zero below the six in the rightmost place value. And now we multiply by two. Two times nine is 18, record the eight, Perform an exchange with the one. Two times six is 12, plus one is 13. Record the three, perform an exchange with the one. Two times two is four, plus one is five. And now before multiplying by the one, we need to add zeros to the two rightmost place values here and here. And now multiplying by one, one times nine is nine, one times six is six, and one times two is two. And now we add, we have six, Seven plus eight is 15, record the five, perform an exchange. One plus three plus nine is 13, record the three, perform an exchange. One plus one plus five plus six is 13, record the three, perform an exchange, and one plus two is three. And again, the product must contain two decimal places. So starting on the right, we count over two decimal places. One, two, the product, is 333.56, and therefore the area is equal to 333.56 square feet, or feet squared. Which means 333.56 square feet will fit inside the parallelogram. And before we go, let's go ahead and check this product on the calculator. We have 26.9 times 12.4 which does verify we do have the correct area. Thank you for watching.